Tadamesha Gakko and Itachi Koto Gakko online lessons for the A Kaiwa Jukyo, the Sangakan and A course, uh, basic English and basic English conversation lessons. Today's online video is called Lesson 6, and well, it's how to introduce a friend. So, Tomodachi no Shokai or Tomodachi no Shokai Shikata. Okay, so introducing a friend. It's A wa B wo sini shokai suru in Japanese, and it's really quite simple. It's very, very like doing a self introduction. So the chui ten, the points to remember. Tomodachi wo shokai suru toki ni hanashi no naiyo wa jiko shokai to ni teru desu ga, jibun no koto janaku, tomodachi no koto ni tsuitai hanashimasu. So what that really means is that the information in the video is usually the name of the person, their age, what their hobby is, uh, what they're studying, where they're living, uh, what they want to do in the future, and so on and so forth. And because you're not talking about yourself, you're talking about a friend, instead of using words like I or my, Janaku, Tekisetsuna Sanin Shoumei, ah. <laughs> You use these, the appropriate um, uh, pronouns to describe a friend. So let's have a look at that. So when you're introducing a friend, you use these words. If it's at the top of the sentence, uh, like he is happy, he is tall, toka, use, well, kare wa, instead use he, kanojo wa. In English is, of course, she, and if it's a thing, Sorry what, but actually we won't be looking at that today. So and again, Shoyu Daimeishi is his kare no or her kanojo no. So we can use these words when we're describing a friend after we've introduced a friend's name. Let's have an example. Here we have a man, a car, it's red. How old is he? He is 20. And his car is red. Let me just delete that. Well, he is 20 and his car is red. So it's a very simple sentence talking about your friend or introducing some aspect of your friend. So let's look at this lady. Now, she is, well, what is she doing? She is studying mathematics or maths. She is studying maths. And the second sentence here is saying that her score is always high. That's saying she is very, very clever. So in those two examples, he is 20, he has a red car, or his car is red. And the second sentence, she is studying maths. Her score is always high. We have in simple English, lots of information. Age, the person's object, what they own, something about something that they own, what the person is studying, and praise words, homektoba. So her score is always high. That's a good thing. So it's very easy to introduce a friend and give a lot of information with simple English. Remember, simple is best. So let's look and listen to the content of a friend introduction. I'd like, I'd like to, to introduce, introduce my, my friend, friend Rajiv, Rajiv Biniwale. Okay, so that's an opening greeting and the friend's name has been introduced, Rajiv Biniwale. He is one of my best friends. Okay, so now we have the relationship between the speaker and uh, Rajiv Binawali. So the relationship is the Kanke, and it's a little bit of the history between the two. So this is called Komakai Joho, or small details. Again, when you introduce a friend, you give small details. And we went and to the went same, to same high school. High school. Hmm. So that's more information. How do they know each other? From when do they know each other? Now, now he's, in, he's India. in India. So where is the friend living? What country? What city? 
you can introduce that. And goes to a computer technology school. Mm. Okay, so what What is the person doing now? Okay, moving on. He is very bright. He is very bright. Well, that's a very positive thing to say. And that's a... Oh, home katoba. But the, gra the kanji is wrong. Oh, dear. Home katoba. So home katoba is praise or complimentary words. And it's usually the SVC bunke. Bunke and the doshi, the V doshi is for the most part B doshi in the Genzai K. He and I he and are hoping, I are to, hoping build to build a company, a company together, together someday. someday. Okay, so that finally is just Mirai Nishtai Koto Osho Kaisaru. So talking about something you want to do or your friend wants to do in the future. So that's one type of friend introduction. Let's look at greetings. How to introduce your friend's name. I'd like to introduce. This is my friend. I'd like to say something about. I admire. Now, this is my friend. Is the friendliest. If it's your boss, or someone you're maybe working with, you can introduce them more formally with these two phrases. I'd like to introduce, or I'd like to say something about. So these are mm, formal. These are formal phrases, okay? And the last one, I admire, mm, that's really for or So you can forget about that one. Okay, Komakai, no Koto, Ano, Kankei no Rekishi, and so on and so forth. You could have these phrases. Hajimete atta toki, nanden mai toka, dokude hajimete atta. So you koto mo shokai suru koto ga dekiru tomodachi shokai suru toki. Okay, so we met mm, years ago in mm, as an example, we met three years ago in junior high school. We met five years ago in elementary school, and so on. The how many years have you known? You can use this phrase. I have known Tomodachi no Nomai for X years. So for example, I have known Tom for 20 years. I have known Aska for 14 years. Another phrase you can use is we first met in the Hajimete Ata Basho. We first met in Meishu Gaku and Hitachi Koto Gaku, you could say. Okay, so let's move on. Genzai no Koto, Benkyo, Shigoto, Shozoku, Shubinado. So what are you studying? What's your job? What are you a member of? And what is your hobby? You could say where the person lives, what the person is studying, and not only studying, so studying math, dokure. So he is studying English in Meishu, or he is studying baseball in Meishu, you could say. Talk about the club, what member? Ship does the person have? He is a member of, or she is a member of, and the club. So she is a member of the basketball team, you could say. Introduce the hobbies. Again, his hobby is, or her hobby is. And if you want, you can give more information about what they do. So for example, his hobby is basketball. He practices three times a week. Okay, here we have character, seikaku. And when we talk about seikaku, we can give the uh, praise words, uh, good points and bad points about a person. So the good points and the bad points about a person can also be described. So for example, he is kaioshi, happy, sad, toka. 
she is again Kayoshi. The shoujo is something really good at. So he is really good at. So for example, he is really good at studying English. And Tansho would be. Uh, however, on the other hand, but sometimes. So shoujo shokai shite kara tansho shokai suru bai. Ano tansho shokai suru mai ni wa kono yona hyoga no tsukaimasu. However, on the other hand, but sometimes. And they basically means ippo, ah, gyakuni, dakedo, tokidoki kind of thing. Okay? Okay, so challenge number one. Listen to the two conversations and fill in the blanks. Again, you can listen as many times as you want and you can write your memo in Katakana. But remember, before you submit, please rewrite everything into English. I love my grandma, Janet O'Donnell. She is a very good storyteller. She also often tells us funny jokes and makes us laugh. When she was young, she lived in Japan for three years and studied Japanese history, so she knows some Japanese stories too. One of her favourites is Momotaro, the peach boy. Let me talk about my music teacher, Emma Scott. Before I met her, I had thought music teachers only loved classical music. I was surprised to learn that she enjoys rock music too. Also, she loves mountains and wants to climb Mount Everest someday. I think she is really cool. Okay, so when you describe a friend, you can use these words. Calm, sagacious, talented, creative, good-natured, childish, not serious, unreliable. These are kind of bad words, and this is what they mean. Take a look, pause if you need to, or rewind to use these at a later stage. Okay, so the next adjectives you can use to describe a person's character are as follows. Nice, polite, easygoing, cute, kind, funny, handsome, impatient, and this is what they mean. Okay, let's move on to the last few. Ooh. Young at heart, generous, not cheerful. Now these are not good, not cheerful, not so good. But this is what they mean. Kikaoki and Akurukunai, serious. Okay, so the next. Challenge number two. Boku no tannin wa? Okay, so what's your homeroom teacher like? How can you describe your homeroom teacher? So I want you to think about it, use the template that follows, and write about your homeroom teacher. Then I want you to practice. Practice until you can speak your speech quickly. Finally, use your smartphone to record either your speech as a sound file sound file or as a video and then when you come to school submit them all to me if you can okay do your best do try and remember you are learning a new language so why not be creative with the language so for example when you're making a speech about your homeroom teacher, you don't have to tell the truth. It can be made up. Make it interesting. Okay, so omushiroi hapyo wo ano sozo sureba sureba ii to omoimasu ano so sureto oboyasukunarimasu. So, honto ka uso ka jibunde kimete kudasai.
okay but if it should be interesting so here's the template my homeroom teacher is his or her subject is he she is sometimes he she is he she can and overall i think so the first sentence is the name what does the person teach something about their character some good things kind friendly happy but sometimes something not good about their character like angry and tired maybe something that your teacher can do and finally the final good thing about your homeroom teacher okay good luck okay challenge number three is all about true or false hontoka usoka true or false or fact or fiction so here we have Okay, so the red sentences are they true or false? Hmm, who is this? And this is Mr. Kashimura. He is an art teacher in Meishu High School. He is always happy and friendly. He is a piano player. He is not serious. Sometimes he speaks good English. Now, true or false? Good luck. <laughs> Next, <coughs> Mr. Goto. Okay, <laughs> he looks so young. This is Mr. Goto. He is a history teacher in Meishu. He is 49 years old and lives in Mito. He is a kind, intelligent and funny teacher, but sometimes he is angry. He likes karaoke and swimming. He can speak French. Je suis désolé, je suis pas bon français. Finally, number three. This is Miss E.K. She is the school doctor in Meishu. She is from Okinawa. She can speak Okinawa Ben. She is always happy and smiling. She lives in Hitachinaka. She comes to school on train. So again, Akaji no babun ga honto ka uso ka yoku kangaete kudasai maritsukete. Hai, tsugi ni susumimasu. Challenge number four. Urukuru sensei to Ashima sensei no hanashi. Dogo o miru. So, mata nankai mo miti i. Katakana de memo kaite kamao nai desu ga, kamao nai ga, te ishutsu suru mai ni eiko ni kakinausu. Okay, so this is Mr. Odakura's video, and you're to watch the video and listen. Then fill in the blanks on your printout with what words you heard. This is the dialogue. How are things? Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Yuta Ashima. Okay, so here we go. Remember, you can watch many, many times. How are things? Let me tell you about my friend. Yuta Ashima. As you know, he is teacher here in Meishu. He is also the table tennis coach. He is a great guy. He is calm, kind and funny. He is often says good jokes. Well, he is First time is watching movies. He loves action flicks. He also likes spicy food. Basically, he is a good friend of mine. <laughs> okay, so challenge number five, it's your turn. 
So what I, I want you to do is to introduce your friend. Use eight sentences to introduce your friend. Uh, practice until you can say the speech quickly. Then if you have a smartphone, try and record the speech onto your smartphone and submit both the print and the recorded speech to your teacher when you come to school, if you can, okay? Okay, so remember, Oh, so yeah. Okay, so remember, when you are practicing a speech, mistakes happen often. Don't be afraid of mistakes. Okay? So let's take a look. You need to practice your movement. Gestures. Oi, oi, baba. And positivity. Hi, how are you? Positive speech is best. Ah, we learn from our mistakes. So let's watch Mr. Odakura's speech practice. Take one. How are you? Hi. Take six. How are things? Let me tell you about my friend. <laughs> oh, <okay. coughs> Let me tell you about my friend, <coughs> Okay, so the point of today's lesson is to practice uh, speaking English, to learn how to introduce your friend and to make speech uh, introducing your friend. Remember, everything comes from somewhere. So when you were a baby, you couldn't walk, but now you can. So what I'd like you to do is to try, try, try. Never give up. Don't be afraid and just do it. So everything starts somewhere. Never give up. Don't be shy. You can do it. Bye.